you're still watching Breakfast Central, it's time to take you to the world of sport. We stay in Lagos where Nigeria's D Tigers lost to Senegal 93 to 87 in the opening game of the 2024 FIBA Olympic game. Of course, they can be left feeling aggrieved not to have come away from Old Trafford with at least a point after they fell to a 1 0 defeat to Manchester United. Andre Onana made a couple of stops but was fortunate in the closing stages. Rafael Varane scored the only goal of the game 14 minutes from the time after everything hangs side spent a large majority of the game under the cosh from the away side who had been managed by Gary O'Neill for the first time after taking charge just four days ago. With minutes of stoppage time to go, Wolverhampton Wanderers did everything they could to try and salvage a point but were left furious after they weren't awarded a penalty. The video assistant referee did check to look back at that challenge but the verdict from Stockley Pack, the centre referee, said there wasn't enough in it to make it a penalty or to even award a sport kick. Now, let's remind you once again the result says Manchester United 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 0. So, three points in the bag for Manchester United. Moving away from that, some transfer updates right now on Breakfast Central. Chelsea have announced the signing of Moses Caicedo from Brighton for a British record fee of £150 million. The Blues unveiled the latest signing in the statement on Monday. The midfielder signed an eight-year deal that will see him stay at the Stanford Bridge until 2031. It was an option for an extra year. Brighton had initially accepted £111 a million pounds, that bid from Liverpool for the Ecuadorian. But Caicedo, however, turned down the chance of joining Liverpool, saying his mind is on Chelsea, who would later submit an improved deal to close a year-long chase for him. The deal taking Caicedo to Chelsea is a British record, eclipsing the amount paid by the club to sign Henzo Fernandes in January. Still talking about some transfer update, Saudi Arabian club Al-Hilal have agreed a deal with Paris Saint-Germain to sign Nema Jr. The Brazil international who is set to sign a two-year deal is undergoing his medical today and is expected to complete that move in the next 48 hours. Sources close to Paris Saint-Germain, who have been open to selling Neymar for the past three windows, said the club is set to receive up to £86.3 million for a player that cost them a world record fee of £200 million from Barcelona in 2017. At 31, Neymar Jr. is not considered a key player for the new Paris Saint-Germain head coach, Luis Enrique, and have been open to selling the forward in order to focus on forming a much younger hungrier team for Paris Saint-Germain. We cannot wait to see what the conclusion will be for Nemo Jr. if he would continue with Paris Saint-Germain just like Kylian Mbappé or not. They have a spot update at this time. Back to you, Osa and Olive. Thank you very much. Um, two things I want to quickly mention. Uh, first, there's a little bit of controversy over Neymar's move. Mm. A lot of people have condemned it. You know, they, they, they think it was, you know, first of all, he wasn't even right to leave Barcelona in the first mm -hmm. place to move to PSG. But, you know, now it's obvious that a lot of these players are really just chasing money. It has nothing to do with, you know, growth, you know, in football. Mm. There's that. And then second, I'm a Manchester United fan, but yesterday night I watched the worst game oh, in my yes. whole life. As a Manchester United, I second United with fan. you, Osa. Manchester it, United were I poor on the day. I've thrown up a million times. <laughs> <laughs> watching that game. I and mean, everybody the complained is, about the that is, game. It felt like uh, Manchester United was unprepared. They mm. were terribly slow. Mm. Um, they they, they played like they didn't know each other. Yes. <laughs> So exactly. it, it seemed like it was a game of luck. And many people genuinely believe that Wolverhampton, of course, de um, deserved the penalty that they weren't given. Mm. Yes, they did deserve it. But um, the video assistant referee did rule that um, not a penalty. And though the, the coach of um, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Gary O'Neill, did come out to say that um, the, co the referee apologized for that um, decision. But I'm hoping we will not call Manchester United Penchester again this season. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, thanks a lot for stopping by, Onyef, and You're sharing welcome. those very sad stories of Manchester United. Uh, we'll I'm see wearing you again. red in celebration of Manchester United. <laughs> At least there's an upside to it. Oh, it might not have been one. a great win, oh. but they've been winning their opening games for how many years now? So how many seasons? So I think it's great news for Manchester United, right? All right. In some sense. <laughs>